Sir, at the outset, I would like to salute the frontline workers, the doctors, the nurses, the sanitary workers, the ambulance drivers, the police personnel who have staked their life to save the people when the whole world was locked. Sir, uh, realizing the consent of time as always, I would like to stick to very important points. But at the same time, I cannot uh, just jump away pointing out one or two failures of this government, the union government. The coronavirus was fir first began and was found in China, Wuhan in 2019. And uh, in January 11, 2020, the WHO declared it as a global pandemic. Sir, after that, the parliament was working till 23rd of March. All the aircrafts were bringing in from across the world corona carriers to our country, spreading it. Markets were open, everything was in operation, trains were open. So these 12 days, had the government jumped into action, very big tragedy would not have happened. Like the migration workers suffered and many lives lost. And later, sir, what happened in the second wave of corona was more lives were lost. Saint Thiruvalluvar used to say that, Noi Nadi, Noi Mudal Nadi, Adhidhanikya Vai Nadi, Vai Pachayal. That is, first find what is the disease. Then go to the root of it. Then find out the solution and implement. This is it. Sir, there are many doctors, not only Dr. Shantanusan who spoke now, even Dr. Jitendra Singh with the PMO, even the then health minister were all doctors. Sir, anyone would know that coronavirus is known to cause respiratory infections like common cold and uh, respiratory, acute respiratory syndromes, SARS, severe acute respiratory syndromes. So basic necessity is the need of oxygen. What happened? All the members of parliament, not only here, everywhere, everyone was receiving calls from people. One or other one is uh, suffering from COVID. We need oxygen. We need oxygen. We need a hospital bed which is providing oxygen. It was not available. Why the government has not contemplated in making manufacturing of oxygen units? Even had the MP lads fund not been suspended, these 800 MPs would have taken up even thousands of hospitals and would have provided with manufacturing of oxygen units. That even was not possible. So the second one, when a vaccine was developed, a ray of hope came. Till then, everyone was in bleak. The whole world, after the humankind came into existence, never in the past, the whole world was locked. Whether it is Spain flu or any flu, anything which you have come across, was contained only with an area. But the whole world was locked. Till a vaccine was developed, everyone was bleak and we were in dark and we were not definite about our future. Yes, it was developed. A ray of hope came. But what was the government's responsibility in manufacturing or bringing in more vaccines? It didn't happen. As Lope pointed out, very less percentage of the very big population of our country has been uh, vaccinated so far. Sir, I would like to put forth very important two points, two proposals, two suggestions to the health minister, Mr. Mandevia, who has successfully sailed the ship and has now landed with health. And I think he would take my suggestions or proposal and uh, would uh, I expect a positive response from him. Sir, there is a, a modern and high capacity Vaccine Manufacturing Facility, IVC, Integrated Vaccination Complex in Chengalpet near Chennai. It, is, it was established by Biotech, HLL Biotech Limited under the Ministry of Health with an investment of 700 crores, which is lying unutilized. It is for one and a half years. After our Chief Minister, Mr. M.K. Stalin, assumed power, he only brought the limelight that such a facility is lying unutilized because of additional lack of additional funds. There was no private bidder to offer and take it up. So, in the interest of the nation and in the state, by way of enhancing the production of vaccines, 
to fulfill the requirements across the country, not only our state, across the country, in a very wide uh, perspiration, he, he suggested, he wrote to the Prime Minister two months before, in the month of May. Now, to the notice of the Honourable Health Minister, I remind the same what the Chief Minister has written to the Prime Minister. So I wish to propose, I quote, I wish to propose that the assets of IVC may be handed over to the state government on lease without any past liabilities and with full operational freedom. The state government will identify a suitable private partner immediately and will make all efforts to commence vaccine production at the earliest. A suitable financial arrangement for central government to recover a part of its investment can be subsequently worked out after the commencement of operations. It was a request, sir. Very important. It's a very important yeah, discussion. That's right. Kindly give one or two minutes. Yeah, I'm giving you one we minute. We are talking please. about the lives of the people. Yeah, please conclude. The, the third wave is around the corner. It's looming around. The apprehension is there. I'm giving what you extra time. To, please conclude. Sir, the state government is offering. You just give the facility to the state government. We are ready to take it up and start manufacturing vaccines, which would help not only to the state of Tamil Nadu, but for the requirement across the country. There is another unit in Uti which is also totally not in use, that could also be revived. And second, very, very important, sir, the supply of vaccines. Uh, health Minister's consideration and uh, the Ministry of Health filed a writ petition, suo moto, in the uh, court that um, it, it is provided under uh, proportion of population between 18 to 44 years of respected age. Uh, vaccinations are supplied to the states. But on the contrary, in practice, it is not so. Sir. The number of vaccine doses provided for Tamil Nadu is only 300 per thousand, whereas for Gujarat, it is 533, Karnataka, it is 493, and Rajasthan, 446. Why is this disparity? Why is this difference? Let it be uniform. Please. If you are giving it by proportion of population, Tamil Nadu should also get the equal share. We are not asking anything for us. It is only to save the lives. We have got a capacity of vaccinating 3 lakh people per day. It has been developed. Our Prime Minister has repeatedly, Sir Chief Minister has written another letter in July that he needs immediately 1 crore vaccines to fulfill the requirement there. So, sir, I think the Health Minister would take into consideration. The MP Lads Fund is different. But these two proposals, Kindly give that facility, uh, that Thank you. modern, uh, high, uh, high competent facility, which is which would manufacture vaccines to the state government, as well as provide immediately one crore vaccines to the state of Tamil Nadu. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Seba.